Item number SCP-5090, Object Class, Keter, Site Responsible, Site-23, Director, Researcher Oliver Crane, Research Head, Dr. Juniper Mebergold, Assigned Task Force, Not Applicable, Security Level 3, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-5091 is to be kept in a tight vivarium, a Faraday cage hardwired to the Foundation intranet is to be positioned around the enclosure to restrict public access to SCP-5090 and SCP-5090-A through C. This information campaigns regarding the sites are to be launched to settle any possible sightings of SCP-5090 before Foundation intervention. SCP-5091 is to be fed one loggerhead turtle egg daily and supply the dish of salt water to be exchanged for fresh salt water every two weeks. Description SCP-5090 is a wide area network server. No evidence of external hardware which operates SCP-5090 exists. Instead, SCP-5090 is entirely operated by SCP-5091. It has been concluded that SCP-5090 and SCP-5090-A through C operate based on the daily actions of SCP-5091. SCP-5091 is a colony of Atlantic ghost crabs, which previously resided on Scotch Beach, Block Island, Rhode Island. See Addendum 1. SCP-5091 appears to be sapient. It is concluded that SCP-5091 collectively has the equivalent intelligence of a seven-year-old human child. SCP-5090's exact method of creation is unknown. Although enough evidence has led to the conclusion that SCP-5091 created it through telecommunication. SCP-5091 will interact with users of SCP-5090-A through C, appearing to perceive users as other animals in the area. SCP-5090-A B and C are websites created by SCP-5091. One or more of these websites will appear in a user's browser history and or bookmarks before the user had accessed these websites in the first place. Visiting SCP-5090-A through C will automatically connect the user to SCP-5090. SCP-5090-A is a blog-style website accessible by the domain www.turtleegtime.crab, mainly consisting of posts about the daily lives of SCP-5091. SCP-5090-B is a video-sharing website accessible by the domain www.digfromdanger.crab. Despite its intended purpose, SCP-5090-B contains few videos posted by SCP-5091. SCP-5091 mainly interacts with users through the Community tab and commenting on works uploaded by other users. SCP-5090-C is an educational webpage consisting of interactive media with the purpose of educating young school children that is accessible by the domain www.san.crab Addendum 1.1 SCP-5091 Interaction Pre-Containment On July 6, 2019, Dr. Merigold and Researcher Crane accessed SCP-5090-A and SCP-5090-B to interact with SCP-5091 before containment. Dr. Merigold went under the alias Crap Girl 19 and Researcher Crane went under the alias Puzzled Hearts. Turtle Egg or Bug? Egg. Eggs sound healthy. Why does a lost goose lay eggs eating good you a uh, goose? They're not my eggs. Weird goose. What animal am I? Stupid butterfish don't know what it is. Ha 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 Where do you guys live? A uh, bit on her nose, Crab Girl. Habitat? Block. You didn't block me. Block. Okay.
No see box crab! Stand by your crab brethren! No nose! What the fuck do you know about the word brethren? What does that mean? I love you all. I know they're so cute, right? I am not cute, Cuthbert! Fierce crab! Closing statement! The Alamo is mentioned in the log by SCP-5091 led to the conclusion that it resided in Rhode Island. SCP-5091 mentioned in log appears to be a reference to Block Island, Rhode Island. Addendum 1.2 SCP-5091 Interaction Post Containment The following is the comment section of a video uploaded to SCP-5090B titled Life. The video depicts two members of SCP-5091 sitting in containment for 15 minutes. Uploaded by Ocean Survival on August 12, 2019. Video Description Today Life Update Cool. Thanks, I was in it. Do you two have any hobbies? Yes, I like hunting for eggs, but I can't do it a lot anymore because I'm in the cage thing. But it's okay, I have friends. Cage? Uh, what do you mean, lad? I was in a sea with my friend, but then I wasn't. I am not sure what happened, but now I am not in a sea. I still have my friends, though. How are you all adjusting to the change? Adjusting? Uh, how are you taking the change in short? No see, Ross. Goose, but you nice. Most okay with it. Marcy is very confused, though. She doesn't like change, but we try to tell her it's okay because we're all together. I see. Having friends through tough times is nice. I hope Marcy feels okay soon. Yes, me too. Do you know what a place change feels like? Do you have any friends you feel sad for? Is that why you are asking? I'm not good at helping words. And I'm just worried for you. I do somewhat know how you feel, so I can emphasize. Emphasize? Understand and share how you feel. Oh, I hope you and your friends are okay, Ross Goose. That's very kind of you. Thanks, Ross Goose. Did I give good helping words? You did, Ocean. Thanks again. Yay, please change, not beat at me.